Well, we did it. Right, Jane? We graduated. Hooray. I'd like to give a shout out to my friends and family who helped me during my journey, my professors. And congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Yes, Jenny! I want to give a shout out to my parents because they gave me the strength and support that I needed in order to be a first generation graduate at VCU. One in Africa, you guys are like my real support system. Your prayers, I know I'm alive today because the prayers in Africa. I would like to say thank you to all my family and my friends and all close ones that have helped me finally get to this point in my life and finally finish on getting my bachelor's class of 2020. Uh, quiero decir gracias a toda mi familia, mis amigos y mis amistades por todo lo que ustedes han hecho para mi, mi escuela y esta etapa de mi vida. <laughs> bueno, clase 2020, gracias. VCU Business Grad 2020, I did it. I've met at VCU have made this time so wonderful. Thank you parents and family and friends and roommates for everything that you've done. Yes, it is true what they say, huh? Time flies when you're having fun. Hi, I'm Rinwai Das. I'm happy to finally graduate and I'm extremely grateful to this welcoming VCU community. Just want to give a quick uh, thank you to all my family who supported me through this time and this degree and uh, especially my wife and kids. I love you guys.
congrats, everybody. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my brother, Andrew Barbieri. Uh, wouldn't have made it here without you, man. Congrats. Um, and thank you to Engineering Career Services. God bless you guys. Hello, everyone. My name is Atusa Ghani, and I could not have done this without my beautiful parents, without my forever friends, and my hardworking professors. This is all for you guys. Thank you so much. And never forget, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has made this an unforgettable experience, and I couldn't imagine ending my undergraduate journey anywhere else. Go Rams! Tyson, I did it, man. It's time to make that money now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, y'all. This has been a long time in the making, and I'm glad I'm at the end. It's, it's surreal. Woo! We did it! Lo hicimos! Thank you, Mom and Dad, Patty, Darwin. I love you guys so much. Los quiero mucho! I'd like to thank my amazing Mom and Dad for supporting me through college and for always believing in me. And I'd also like to thank the amazing faculty of the Robertson School, specifically Judy Crenshaw and Susan Kramer. Thank you to all of my family, friends, and professors that have helped me through my collegiate journey. I miss having in-person classes, but I'm thankful I was able to continue to pursue my education through this crazy pandemic. So thank you, BCU. graduating. I think it's been such a long journey and I'm just super excited to start to get the ball rolling. I'd love to give a shout out to my family and my friends again!
can't believe it's finally over but I really couldn't have gotten through it without my family so thank you to my parents and my sisters specifically I love you guys so so much Mwah. it is done Shout out to my friends, family, and fraternity. Thank you guys so much for supporting me along the way. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. Many thanks to God, Dad, Mom, my brothers and sisters, um, the Ruthiers, and all the family and friends who have prayed for and supported me during my time at VCU. Thank you all so much. Hey, what's going on VCU? Um, I just want to say thank you to my parents and thank you to all my friends that have been along me with this journey for nursing. I'm excited to graduate. Go Rams.
Good morning. As Rector of Virginia Commonwealth University Board of Visitors, it is my great honor to welcome you, our graduates, students, faculty, family, friends, and members of the community as we celebrate the VCU class of 2020. As a graduate of this university a couple of decades ago, I can say firsthand that this school is better now than ever before. In virtually every category, we've made major progress. Today, we are firmly established as one of the premier urban research institutions in the entire nation. We're graduating more Pell eligible students than any other school in the entire state of Virginia. Our health system has established itself as a premier health system in the entire Mid-Atlantic region. We are literally leading the fight against COVID and saving lives every day. But what I'm most proud of is the university's success as it relates to student achievement. Over the past decade, VCU's graduation rate has improved as much as any other major urban research institution in the country. Particularly, we've seen great success among students of color. We're graduating more African-American students today than any other school in the state of Virginia. Your degree today is worth more now than ever before. And we need it. The nation, our city, people all over the world are looking for leaders. And I'm sure we have hundreds, if not thousands, attending this ceremony virtually today. So let me say thank you and congratulations. You've earned it and the world awaits. Next, let me please bring up our provost, Dr. Gail Hackett, as she continues this morning's celebration. Good morning. I'm Gail Hackett, provost and vice president for academic affairs here at Virginia Commonwealth University. It is my great honor to welcome each of you virtually to VCU's commencement ceremony and our celebration of the VCU class of 2020. I'm now happy to introduce Dr. Arthur Kellerman, Senior Vice President for Health Sciences and CEO of the VCU Health System. Good morning. Thank you, Dr. Hackett, for opening today's celebration. Before we begin our program, I would like to recognize members of the VCU community who are joining us here today. Members of the VCU Board of Visitors and Vice Rector of the Board, Ben Dendy. VCU President, Michael Rao. Our academic deans. Our outstanding faculty and staff in Virginia and Doha, Qatar. And VCU Alumni President, Michael Whitlow. Please join me in recognizing this wonderful group of people. Thank you. Now, I welcome the president of Virginia Commonwealth University, Dr. Michael Rao. Good morning, VCU family. I am so delighted to be your head cheerleader in celebrating your graduation from Virginia Commonwealth University. You've reached a really, really important point in your lives, and I know that all of you feel a deep sense of accomplishment. You should. You've worked hard. This year presented us all with just enormous challenges, and every one of you have persevered. We're really, really proud of you. You instill such a strong sense of pride in our university, and you are exactly what the world needs right now. I'm so proud of the depth of your empathy, your work across fields to improve plans that are going to help create a more inclusive, equitable world where everyone's going to succeed. You're the class that's going to go out there into the world and make this happen because you're the leaders of a generation of learners with an expansive vision of how our world should be. It should be a place that recognizes the potential in everybody. 
The world needs your leadership right now. We need teachers who are dedicated to the highest quality of learning for everyone. Healers who will provide the very best care to all human beings. And of course, people with tremendous creativity who will add beauty to our world while also provoking the needed thought and dialogue about the human experience that all of us are seeking right now. You know, it was Nobel Prize, uh, Pul it was Nobel Pulitzer Prize winning author Toni Morrison who said, and I quote directly, I tell my students, when you get these jobs that you have so brilliantly been trained for, just remember that your real job is that if you are free, you need to free somebody else. If you have some power, she says, then your job is to empower somebody else. And you know, that's really VCU's story. That's your story. You already use your power to help others. And there are so many examples of it. And you're about to change the world and make it a better place for everybody. I've watched you foster civic enga engagement in all of our communities. You empowered your peers and your neighbors through education, and you've created lifelong learners who were invested in the well-being of their communities and, of course, our nation and the world. As students, you worked to address the prescription drug and opiate abuse epidemic that denies so many people the opportunity to realize their self-worth. By hosting drug disposal and preventive education events, you've saved lives and you've created opportunities for many people, so many people who would never have had the opportunity without you. There is every reason to believe that the success that you've seen here will be even greater and bigger as you go forward. Believe in yourselves. Scientists, you know, link creativity with brain function and the ability to endure during difficult times. So more than ever, we need to be sure that we're clear about the value of the performing and visual arts. Your creativity and innovation have helped you adapt in-person theatrical performances to virtual in-home viewing this fall. You've been and you will continue to be amazing in so many ways, ways that we can't even imagine yet. And of course, we're all facing one of the most defining challenges of our time with determination. I'm so proud of your hard work during the COVID-19 pandemic. You make me so proud. Lives are being saved because of your volunteer work with local and state agencies. Tracing disease transmission, really important. You've also exhibited great care for your fellow Rams, your loved ones, and people in our community. And you've done this through personal preventive measures. Thank you so much for that. You've made VCU the story of tremendous success through this pandemic. And it's nothing short of profound. You've worked really hard to make VCU a premier national public research university with a great academic medical center, a great academic medical center that's totally dedicated to the access of human beings, the best care based on the best research and the best health care providers, and of course, the best overall patient experience. We're getting there because of all of you. Your advocacy for our fellow human beings and your assistance with the creation of living, learning, and community spaces at VCU all of which are accessible and welcoming. You've made it possible for us to serve all who come to VCU. And I'm so grateful for the passing of the baton that each of you will do to your great classmates. They will do an exemplary job of upholding VCU's mission as a 21st century university dedicated to advancing the human experience everywhere. And this is something that Rams do really well. You're graduating from VCU during an important time in our history. You're part of the history of our university, the city of Richmond, and of course, the broader Commonwealth. Your history, though, is really just beginning. And 
you're going to be really, really successful. You're going to be successful in your lives while you're empowering humanity everywhere. Congratulations. Congratulations to the VCU class of 2020. We're really proud of everything that you've done, and we look forward to the great successes that you'll have in your lives because those will all reflect back on your alma mater. Please stay in touch. And remember, you are forever a part of your alma mater, Virginia Commonwealth University. You'll be forever a RAM. And now we are at that point in our ceremony where we present our special awards. So as you know, each year VCU is very pleased to offer special recognition to people who have enhanced the VCU community and the communities around us. Today, we are going to present the Presidential Medallion to two of my colleagues, two outstanding professors who have made remarkable contributions in the context of research, teaching, but also society. The first presidential medallion goes to Dr. Kenneth Kendler. Dr. Art Kellerman, would you please come forward and present Dr. Kenneth Kendler. Kenneth Kendler, as a world-renowned expert on the genetics of psychiatric and substance use disorders, you have garnered distinguished recognition by your peers and are one of the most highly cited psychiatric researchers internationally. Your illuminating contributions to the field of psychiatry have advanced our understanding of mental health and the care we provide. Your decades of teaching, service, and outstanding leadership at the Virginia Institute of Psychiatric and Behavioral Genetics has left an indelible mark on medicine and medical research. President Rao. Ken Kendler, in recognition of your lifelong achievement, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Visitors of Virginia Commonwealth University, it is my pleasure to hereby present you with the Presidential Medallion. Our final Presidential Medallion will be presented to Dr. Stephen Wolf. Dr. Kellerman? Stephen Wolf, your research and outstanding contributions to the field of population health have garnered national attention, raised public awareness, and influenced public policy on our nation's health. We're honored to celebrate your accomplished career in health equity, social epidemiology, and family medicine at VCU. Your remarkable leadership of the VCA Center on Society and Health and dedication to improving the conditions that create inequities in health will inspire generations of providers, researchers, and social justice advocates. President Rao. Steve Wolf, in recognition of your extraordinary achievement by the authority vested in me by the Board of Visitors of Virginia Commonwealth University, it is my pleasure to hereby present you with the Presidential Medallion. And congratulations to our honorees. Okay, at this time we will now have Board Vice Rector Ben Dendy come forward and introduce our student speaker. Thank you, Dr. Rao. I'm very pleased to introduce Solomon Workney as our student speaker. Solomon Workney is a class of 2020 graduate from the School of Business who is receiving his Bachelor of Science degree in Information Systems. Outside of his work in education and technology, Solomon served as a mentor for incoming business students and is a member of the Pi Lambda Phi fraternity and VCU InterVarsity Quindich Club. Solomon hopes to one day serve as a software engineer and is a native of Arlington, Virginia. Please join me in welcoming Solomon Workney. What's up, graduates? We finally did it. Making it to this point takes lots of commitment from ourselves, 
So let's take a moment to clap for ourselves. On this journey of achieving a degree, it's important to recognize the people who helped you get to this point as well. So thank you to all the family members who helped us financially and kept providing us constant support when times were tough. Thank you to all the VCU staff as well. Thank you to all the professors who set the standard of what it takes to be a great professional in the future and always offering extra help outside the classroom. Thank you to all the staff members that kept filling our bellies throughout our time here too. I'll never forget going into Schaefer and staying there for hours with my homework because of the unlimited food the staff provided. Thank you to all the staff members who continue to keep our university clean, especially now during this time. And everyone else that keeps VCU up and running, thank you. Thank you to all the people I have met and continue to meet here in VCU. The relationships I have made me into the person I am today. VCU, being in a big city like Richmond, helps meeting lots of people. But with the many organizations and clubs VCU provided, like the Pi Lambda Phi fraternity, Quidditch, and InterVarsity, I was able to find and meet many people with the same interests. In college, I was always fond where people came from before entering VCU. When I asked people, where are you from, I would get answers from rural and huge cities in the nation to even outside the country. It amazes me how far people are willing to travel to experience VCU. So thank you to all the family members and the whole Richmond community for making our time in Richmond real. As we all continue to forge through our paths, let's remember to adapt. As an information systems major in the School of Business, I was always taught that creativity is always a competitive advantage. With COVID, all businesses are adapting creatively to keep on running. QR codes are given in restaurants now, gyms are more spaced out, and our graduation is virtual through Zoom. Like businesses, we will all have to creatively adapt moving forward in our lives and careers. This will mean we will have to adapt to things that are new to us like online interviews or maybe even creating a new way to market your skills. But with our experience in VCU, I'll believe it will help us maneuver better during this time. Congrats and cheers, class of 2020. Thank you so much, Solomon, for your really important and inspiring remarks. What a tremendous message for all of our students and a tremendous message to our communities on behalf of our students. Excellent job. Thank you. You make me so proud, Solomon. And now we'll move on to conferring our degrees. As Dean of the Graduate School, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy in all disciplines. These students have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our faculty.
By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculties, I am very pleased to confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Philosophy. As Dean of the Graduate School, I am pleased to present the candidates for master's degrees, post-baccalaureate graduate certificates, and post-master's certificates in all disciplines. These students have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our faculty.
and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculties, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your master's degrees and certificates. As Dean of the College of Health Professions, I'm absolutely thrilled to present our candidates for the following degrees. Doctor of Nurse Anesthesia Practice, Doctor of Physical Therapy, Doctor of Occupational Therapy, and Bachelor of Science. These students have fulfilled all requirements and are enthusiastically recommended by our faculty. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean Parrish. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your doctoral and baccalaureate degrees. As Dean of the School of Dentistry, it gives me great pleasure to present these candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree in oral health research. Tanya Marie Puccio and Aaron Mooney are the first students to graduate from the oral health research PhD program and the first students to graduate with a PhD from the School of Dentistry. These students have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by the faculty. Thank you, Dean Surrett. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you the first Doctor of Philosophy degrees in dentistry. As Dean of the School of Education, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy degree in education. These candidates have fulfilled all the requirements and are recommended by our faculty. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean Deere. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Philosophy in Education. As Dean of the School of Medicine, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for the Doctor of Medicine degree. These students have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our faculty. Thank you, Dean Buckley. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Medicine.
As dean of the School of Pharmacy, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for the Doctor of Pharmacy degree. These students have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by the faculty. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean DePiro. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you the degree Doctor of Pharmacy. And now I will ask VCU Honors College Senior Associate Dean Jacqueline Smith Mason to please come forward and acknowledge students who are graduating today with Latin and University Honors. Dr. Smith Mason. As Senior Associate Dean of the VCU Honors College, it gives me great pleasure to recognize all students who are graduating with Latin and University Honors. Bachelor degree holders who have done exceptionally well academically and have completed a minimum of 45 credits at VCU are recognized with Latin Honors. All students with a grade point average between 3.3 and 3.59 are graduating cum laude. All students with a grade point average between 3.6 and 3.9 are graduating magna cum laude. All students with a grade point average of 3.9 or higher are graduating summa cum laude, which signifies graduation with the highest academic distinction. Congratulations to you all. I would also like to recognize all bachelor's degree candidates who have completed the rigorous requirements of the VCU Honors College and will graduate today with university honors. Congratulations on your exceptional achievement. As Dean, of the very best College of Engineering at Virginia Commonwealth University, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for all bachelor's degrees, baccalaureate certificates, and post-baccalaureate undergraduate certificate degrees. These students have fulfilled all the requirements and are recommended by our outstanding faculty. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean Boyan. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees and certificates. As Dean of the College of Humanities and Sciences, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for all bachelor's degrees, baccalaureate certificates, and post-baccalaureate undergraduate certificates. The students have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our faculty. Congratulations.
Thank you, Dean Mallett. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, and upon the recommendation of your faculties, I am very pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees and certificates. As Dean of the School of the Arts, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for all bachelor's degrees and baccalaureate certificates degrees. These students have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our amazing faculty. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean Higginbotham. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees and certificates. As Associate Dean of the School of Business, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for all bachelor's degrees, baccalaureate, baccalaureate certificates, and post-baccalaureate undergraduate certificate degrees. These students have fulfilled all requirements, demonstrated creativity at work, and are recommended by our outstanding faculty.
Thank you, Associate Dean Vijaya Kumar. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia Board of Visitors and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees and certificates. As Dean of the nationally prominent L. Douglas Wilder School of Government and Public Affairs, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for their bachelor's degrees. These students have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our outstanding faculty. Congratulations. Go Rams! Thank you, Dean Gooden. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees. As Dean of the School of Nursing, it gives me great pleasure to present these candidates for their bachelor's degrees. These students have fulfilled all the requirements and are recommended by our outstanding faculty. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Dean Giddens. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees. As Dean of the School of Social Work, 
it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for the Bachelor of Social Work degree. These students and future change agents have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our outstanding faculty. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean Angel. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you the degree Bachelor of Social Work. As Dean of University College, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for the Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies degree. These students have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our faculty. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean Relihan. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you the degree Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies. As Vice Provost of VCU Life Sciences, it gives me great pleasure to present the candidates for their bachelor's degrees. These students have fulfilled all requirements and are recommended by our faculty. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, Vice Provost Tomes. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, the Board of Visitors, upon the recommendation of your faculty, I am pleased to confer upon each of you your baccalaureate degrees. Now at this time, it is my pleasure to invite Michael Whitlow, VCU alumni president, to come forward and share some final remarks to our newest VCU alumni. Michael? Hello, I'm Michael Whitlow, and I'm here on behalf of VCU alumni to welcome you to the largest community within the VCU community. We alums are now about 220,000 in number, I believe, with the addition of your class. Congratulations on making your graduation a milestone amidst the most challenging of times. I can't even imagine what the pandemic response in my time would have been. We were, after all, Zoomless. Uh, in fact, I wish I could say I recall my graduation commencement vividly, but it was the 70s. Uh, I do keep my program, though, and I know my name is on there. Uh, so today, we're sending you off in this time-honored but slightly weird for this time ritual. Uh, now you step over the threshold into membership in VCU alumni. Uh, as an alum, you'll probably encourage others to come here and contribute to VCU's reputation as a destination for students interested in the knowledge that can be gained from such a diverse and inclusive place. And it will be you that makes our alumni association stronger and more important to the university in the future. 
any great private or public institution is distinguished by how alumni feel about their alma mater and by how they engage with one another to spread and enjoy the community. Uh, we've made some changes at VCU alumni this strange year to keep our alums engaged. You might have met virtually to discuss books. Uh, you might have learned adult beverage recipes. Uh, you may have heard a pitch competition virtually among alums for their business ventures, among dozens of programs that we did. You could have volunteered for the Richmond chapter for the Alumni Charity Challenge, a modified in-person event we did this year where 40-plus colleges and universities collected food for the local food bank in Richmond. You also might take on biking adventures with alumni riding rams or participate in reunion with the MCV Alumni Association or engage in community work for the Jewish Alumni Association or join fellow alums for basketball watch parties at dozens of chapters across the country. And if you can't see yourself in any of these activities or the hundreds of others done by our 45 alumni organizations, start your own organization. We've helped establish many that started with this simple idea that a group of alumni would like to get together around a subject. You have an investment in VCU. Getting active in VCU alumni is a way to enhance your investment. The benefits of improving VCU certainly are there for students, but they're also there for alums. The reputation of a university helps cultivate and support success for its alumni across all interest from traditional business and finance types of studies to fine arts to social justice activism. It's been a distinct pleasure to watch a number of graduating classes step over the threshold to alumni status and set about doing their work in the world. Now, as president of VCU alumni, I have the honor of saying thank you and congratulations to a class that has overcome some unique obstacles. Go Rams, make it real. And now it's my pleasure to officially welcome you as VCU's newest alumni. Let's practice this wonderful tradition that's been out there for years, and that is at commencement exercises for new graduates to move their tassels from the right side of their mortarboards to the left side of their mortarboards. Please do that now. Congratulations to VCU's class of 2020. Before we end this ceremony today, there's some people, very important people, who have supported our graduates through the years and have made this day possible, and we have to acknowledge them. Graduates, would you please join us in recognizing your parents? <clears throat> now, graduates, would you please join us in recognizing your spouses, partners, and significant others? And graduates, would you please join us in recognizing your children? And finally, graduates, would you please join us in recognizing your other relatives and friends who've been there with you all the way? Thank you. This now brings our commencement ceremony to a close. We are so proud of you and hope we can celebrate your accomplishments in person soon. On behalf of President Rao and the VCU Board of Visitors, we wish you all the very best. Thank you and congratulations. Go Rams! <laughs> <laughs>